This is the Shure MV88+. Plus. Coming in from Shure is the MV88 Plus Video Kit. Now, this is a vlogger's dream, to be honest. Currently retails for about £194 on Amazon.co.uk, and there are links down in the show notes as to where you can get it. It features a Shure microphone, a camera grip plus a, a lens there for your camera, and a Manfrotto Pixie Mini Tripod, which is a pretty good combination. This itself is a very quality... Uh, brand that uh, that is highly recommended by many photographers so combining that with the Shure brand it's a good thing some may say that 194 pounds is a bit much and you can cobble this together um, using various different uh, budget options but the reliability is obviously going to be here and for anyone heading out to do a bit of vlogging or cover a, a tech show or a conference or something like IFA, which is coming up then this is perfect for vloggers, filmmakers, musicians and podcasters. So on the side here we have various different languages. Here we have uh, apps for better sound in any situation. There we have a, a, an example of a gig. There's a spectrometer along there, a spectrum equalizer along there, and then two things here and a record button there. And then uh, a setup thing. So we have features which include a high res stereo recording from 16 bit 48 kilohertz up to 24 bit 20, uh, 48 kilohertz uh, on screen metering, editing and file sharing, and in app hardware controls, including one touch setup, gain, stereo width, polar pattern, and five bar uh, equalizer, high pass filter, compression, and limiter. It's compatible with iPod, iPad, and iPhone. Aha, <laughs> right, um, hadn't taken that into account. So we're going to see how this works on Android. Mm. Hopefully it works. Okay, so we have professional audio made mobile. Live stream ready, one touch setup, exceptional quality recording, 24 bit, 48 kilo kilohertz, stereo width with polar pattern options, and real time headphone monitoring. So you have a, a bunch of connections on here, which we'll go into in detail and stuff in the box. All right, um, this appears to have been opened before, but not by me. So some other lucky chap has had to, has unboxed this at some stage, or at least reviewed it. So on the top we have a little, uh, just a card showing people using it in various different ways here with the, uh, the light ring and things, I create, edit, Forward, all that kind of stuff. We have a bit of warranty information here, safety precautions, that kind of thing. Here we have the Manfrotto tripod, which ooh, <laughs> it's very sturdy and uh, really quite strong. Uh, the legs are quite adjustable and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a play with that and see how it goes. Patent pending. A little, now, well, we'll talk about that in detail in a minute. And then we have, ah, this is nice, a bag of goodies. There we have the warranty information, sorry. And that's it, the, the, the box is empty. So, coming in on the side here, this is a nice uh, nice uh, pack of stuff. I really like the bag. I, I love these sorts of things, rollouts. On the one side we have the micro USB cable, which is a meter long. Then we have micro USB to micro U or two. Micro USB to lightning. Okay, so that's obviously to plug into your iPhone. Then we have a uh, the microphone itself, which comes with a removable boom cover. There you can see. Yeah. 
with left and right easily uh, visible and on the bottom we have the headphone socket, the micro USB socket and two screws. Simple. Then we have this, which is uh, the the holder. Ah, it's not a lens, okay. This is the holder for your iPhone, depending on what size of iPhone you have. So I'll go ahead and slot in my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, which it fits quite easily. Very simple like that. We have the Sure brand there. It's got rubberized edging. Here and here. It, it doesn't go at right angles, which is quite good. You can see there's actually two bits of plastic in there to stop that from happening. There's a screw thread on that end and a connector on this this end for something else, which would be the mount for the, uh, the microphone. And it's all made nicely in metal with a good screw thread and uh, works very nicely. Obviously, if you were going budget, you would be getting plastic connections and that sort of thing. Uh, so you have the Sure brand there. This fits in like so with left and right channels. Then the back is available. It's not quite symmetrical. I do apologize. For that either attaches directly onto that or you can uh, slip it in here like this. Phone in like that and then this on the bottom. And there we have a nice setup uh, ready for videoing and uh, recording yourself. No. Yeah, this is supposed to go the other way around. There, ready to start videoing and filming whatever you happen. Now obviously the uh, Manfrotto tripod works very well. It's a very tight connection. You get to move that around to whatever angle you need, uh, which is uh, nice. You can hold it like that if you happen to be walking along wanting to film something. Like so. Uh, or if you want to turn it around on yourself and walk along filming like this, buddy buddy ba. Now, I have high hopes that I'll be able to plug, uh, whenever I find one, uh, a micro USB to USB Type-C that I'll be able to plug this in and get it working that way. So, if you're holding it like this, then you can walk along recording and filming and filming and recording. Initially, my thoughts are, it's a decent tripod, it's a decent microphone. I haven't heard the the results of a sound test on the microphone to say whether or not it's high quality, but I trust the brand of Shure, so I'm guessing that it's going to deliver um, either average to high level of quality there. So, I'm still on the mindset that £194 is quite a lot to be asking for this setup. This is essentially what you have and it maybe is a price targeted at iPhone users who are happy to pay just a little bit more for a higher quality. For a higher quality. I do like the tripod, it's very nice, but if you were to compare it to this, which is one from, I think it's Blitzwolf, Blitzwolf, this um, tripod costs I think it's around 20 quid and um, obviously you can not attach the microphone to the top there but you can attach something here perhaps there's some way of wangling that on there um, but this allows you the same kind of freedom for a lot less now there's uh, not as many ways you can use this tripod and um, you can set it up like so or you can hold it and you can adjust it a wee bit and things like that to get a different height but you can't kind of clamp it around something if you want to attach it like a gorilla pod or a gorilla tripod to a fence to record something uh, then you're going to have to then you're going to be in trouble you're going to have to go for a flat surface that you can set this on so there are limitations of what you have here but someone who's going to buy one of these has a very a very particular method they want to use to set up a tripod and camera mount with microphone so what remains for us to do is to test 
the microphone quality. Right, so we have a, a connector here. We put this into that, and hopefully that would work. Take the oh, nuts. Okay, so we have to be a bit crude here because we need that to that uh, isn't going to work with a, an Android phone because this is designed for iPhone. And then micro USB will have to come out and go into a connector because I don't have the appropriate dongle. But this is the same thing as a dongle, it's just a little bit bigger to USB Type C. And that'll go into our Samsung phone that's powered up and ready for action. So we should be able to open this application. Okay, sure motif. Uh, MV88 plus, done. And we need to enable airplane and do not disturb modes for the best result. Okay, so you don't get any kind of feedback or anything like that. Now I can see the spectrum analyzer type thing is working there. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn that around and point it at me. So I'm talking directly into the microphone now at about a one foot distance. And we're just going to go with default and record now. So the volume that you're, the sound that you are currently hearing is that of the Shure microphone. It does seem to be very, very smooth on the application. You can see it recording very nicely. That's It's a lovely animation or illustration as this just appears like that. Now to check how well it works whenever someone wants to raise their voice, it uh, does take it up into the red quite considerably. And I wonder if there's a, a decent amount of break up whenever that happens. Now I didn't adjust my head at all. I'm still sta sitting at one foot from the microphone. In order to test this out thoroughly, I would have to take it outdoors and have a wee walk around the garden perhaps and film some stuff and document it along the way. So perhaps we should do that because it's such a splendid day. And then obviously we save the recording once it's done and we have that to play back. Before we were out, I've just noticed that there is actually an update to the microphone. So. Uh, whilst this microphone has been out for a little while, maybe about 18 months it's been on the market, uh, it has been supported. I don't know when this <laughs> update was announced or anything, but uh, there's an update for it. Wander around the garden um, on this somewhat windy day. The microphone muffler is over the top of the microphone, and whilst it is fairly still at the moment, uh, there's, there's still a bit of wind in the trees, I suppose. Uh, as we come up here, we don't hear any wind in the trees. It's it's quite still and there's a gust coming through now for us to see how windy things can get. Now as you can see here I've uh, I've been cutting away at this tree in order to to down it at some stage. I've chopped off all the branches and the the tree is is coming down. This one is going to be the next project as well. Good big tree I suppose but I hate fir trees. And I'm not entirely happy with them being in my garden and would rather plant some indigenous trees like this one here. So whilst I had thought that it was going to be windy and give a, the muffler a bit of a buffeting, perhaps it's not windy enough. And hopefully this is recorded enough for you to get an idea of just how well this microphone performs. So immediately whenever I went outside I noticed uh, one particularly odd thing. This uh, has a record button for the microphone but it doesn't have a record button for the camera and I, I'm, I'm struggling to see an option to integrate it into the camera other than coming out of the app and going into the camera itself. Now we have the microphone set up that allows us to go through various different uh, features of the microphone and, and settings of the microphone where you can increase the gain uh, pick particular presets of wherever you happen to be. You know, if you're just doing speech, then it recommends this particular configuration of a, of like a, well, essentially a shotgun microphone that points directly at your mouth. Whereas putting it to a guitar, uh, widens it open so you can uh, have a larger area of capture. And then 
uh, again that sort of thing as well um, and then you can turn it on to a cardioid because the, the microphone has uh, the ability to record all around it and sort of uh, to pick up all of the atmosphere in a room uh, actually monocardioid it says there and then bi-directional in which case it uses the two microphones that we saw at the side as opposed to the one at the front so it'll record to the sides and then finally is the mid side um, which uh, uses everything together and uh, records pretty much uh, well a, a very accurate 180 degree um, recording of, of a particular area if you want to capture the fans plus the band or, or that sort of thing you know I think there's there's a bit too much information being captured here that it wouldn't be used terribly often but uh, it's, it's still a nice feature to have the cardioid is my particular favorite because it picks up a lot and then we have a limiter as well which is what I was testing earlier and then a compressor uh, to, to also that depends on, on what you happen to be uh, recording at the time. Um, oh, there's also uh, HPF which is the, um, the, the high pass filter uh, which allows you to record sort of a higher range um, information. You can sometimes get feedback and stuff like that or, or stuff that isn't really heard by the typical person's ear. And then we have an equalizer as well which you can muck around with and, and play around with uh, uh, the various different uh, kilohertz or just hit it flat or, or whatever um, but I'm not seeing anywhere for you to actually be able to record a video so and you have to have it all set up uh, for a vlogger and, and then switch to the camera once this is already recording and then record your video and lay this over the top of it it doesn't integrate it into it it's not like a a, a vlogger's dream of, of everything in the one app you still have to record your sound separately and then lay it over the top. Which is a bit of a shame to be honest. Right, so all it all back in. It does seem to be a fairly a decent setup. Uh, I noticed out there that all you simply do is push that in and that becomes floppy so you can adjust it quite easily and uh, letting go instantly tightens on it. It's left a bit of dirty mark around there but uh, it's easily brushed off. It just must be dust from the factory or whatever or because this is a wee bit old and it's been used by a few different people there's a bit of dirt from other people. Some vloggers may find this useful. Um, I, I personally don't have any use for it um, and um, I don't think I'll be using it again until it gets sent back to Shure. Uh, I do like the microphone. It's a good small microphone for taking with you and if you're on a show floor this would probably be a great way to be able to record people quite easily. It would be great if this, um, if the microphone could turn easily so if you are interviewing someone whilst this is uh, directional um, being able to just be able to flip it round on the fly to record someone who's opposite you without having to actually physically remove this, take it out and turn it around that way, um, it, it would be great, you know, but that's a, that's a tall order and I guess a, a Thai microphone is going to have the same idea, it's, it's, it's a, a continual problem that, that an interviewer may have. So all in all it's a good build, it's fairly solid, it's a bit footery, um, it has a few questionable design choices but uh, ultimately I think it's a, it is a good combination. Those who take vlogging very seriously or need something for a, a tech show uh, floor or, or just doing various Vox Pops, this is a good, this is a good option. A very, because phones are becoming more and more proficient whenever it comes to capturing video on the go, uh, these are going to become more and more popular. Uh, £194 is more expensive. I would dare say that you'd be better off if you're just starting out trying something cheaper uh, cobbling something together yourself as I almost did with this um, all I need is a microphone which is fairly easy to attach and you just need to get the right microphone and then you can uh, build it the way you want to that's been the Shure MV88 Plus let me know if you have any questions or anything that you want me to look at in particular Hit that subscribe button and give us a wee thumbs up if you fancy. And other than that, take care. <laughs>